The sacrifice, service, and pride of a military family on display at the airport tonight. A wife and mom serving overseas with a medical division of the Air Force came home to her loving husband and toddler. It's a touching reunion you will only see here on News Channel 13. Eager family members came bearing bouquets of flowers, balloons, and welcome home signs for Staff Sergeant Tina Travis. Beyond proud. So proud. But her husband, Air Force veteran Tyler Travis, was holding the one thing his wife needed to see the most, their daughter. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better to have mommy back in her life. The couple wondered, would 20-month-old Riley even remember her mom? Just over a year old, when Tina deployed with the Air Force to cut her, little Riley was barely walking. A little shy today, we're told she's now running around, talking and counting to six. That's how many months her mom was away. She's going to be amazed. But all the wonder and worry faded away as mother and daughter spotted each other. Go get mom. Go get mommy. Go get mom. I was just overwhelmed because I missed them so much. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, just seeing her come down here, it just brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> One of the most heart touching things we've ever seen. Mommy's home. Tyler and Riley have been FaceTiming with Tina every day for the past six months, and they're so excited to put the iPhone and the iPad away and just be together as a family. Having met in the Air Force, Tyler and Tina's love of country brought them together. Now, their love for each other and their little girl will bring them home to Saratoga Springs as a reunited family of three. This time for good. And I want everybody to know that she's the strongest mom and wife out there. I'm just happy, very happy. Tina's sister just emailed me tonight to say they had a really special evening with the whole family, relaxing, opening Christmas presents, and having dinner together. Tina is a graduate of Saratoga Springs High School, and she told me after eight years, she's now getting out of the Air Force. She and her husband are going to buy a house to be near family. Imagine. Happy birthday, Jenny. Okay. Well, I would, you know, I don't know, call me a radical, but I'd assume it's potentially a birthday present. Possibly. Okay, well. It could be a dead bird. It could be. <laughs> you know, I guess there's a way to find out. I don't know. Or we could guess. Uh, we can guess. You almost have blood arrows in there. I got suffocated. What are you doing at home? I got, I got lost going down to Afghanistan. He escaped. He escaped. <laughs> yeah. Mom, look at the camera. Oh, look at her. She's crying. <laughs> are you kidding? We have to share this with everybody on Saturday. Uh, what are you doing? I'm home on leave. Come on up, John. Come on up. I just came back from deployment. It's been about five months, and my mom is currently working right now. Uh, she's working at the hospital as a nurse, and I'm about to go surprise her because she does not know that I'm back. And uh, it's Christmas Eve. Actually, it's Christmas now, so I'm going to be her Christmas. It's like a secret code red mission. Secret mission. I'm gonna surprise my mom. It's Christmas. It's gonna be awesome. Jesse. No, he's last. He's last. I know, but he's going in room four. Oh, room four. Jesse, you're going in room four. Yeah, no, I can't say her. She's like, Merry Christmas! 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 We just came to say hi. So Jesse's missing. Jesse's missing. I told you that you needed to be good so Santa can bring Jesse. Were you not good, Emily? Well, Jesse and Missy. Where's Jesse? Huh? Where's Jesse? Middle East. Jesse's in Middle East. Very. You want me to call him and tell him to hurry up? Yeah, please. What are you going to give me if I call him and tell him to hurry up? Everything. Oh. Well, we got you a, a pretty big Christmas present. 
And uh, yeah, let's uh, y'all want to bring out our Christmas present? Yeah, let's bring it out. Let's go ahead and bring it out then. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring it out. <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas! Yeah, Jesse's back. Surprise my mom. Back from Byron. Five months in the Middle East. It's <laughs> beautiful right here. This is what Christmas is all about. Hello. <laughs> How do you feel? Who's next? Go! Alright, you. Go. She knows me. Somebody else go. Three people is all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one of your siblings either. I tell you. No. no. Need a hint? Need a hint? A girl or a boy? A uh, boy. boy. Girl? Oh, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Last one. <laughs> you can always ask for a hint. Remember, you can ask for a hint. Ryan. Where are her glasses? Where are her glasses at? No! Hey, I told him to be here by six. Yeah. He told me six o'clock. <laughs> I'm shaking so bad. How cool is that? I'll kill these girls. I'll kill them. <laughs> we all lied to you, Brenda. Oh, oh, my my I told me to be here by six. Oh, <laughs> Six. 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 Mom. 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 We've all known about this for over two months. I was babysitting today. I brought him. Who's <laughs> Lexi? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Mom, I didn't go to work today. I didn't go to work today. <laughs> Angie didn't go to school. <laughs> we went and picked him up from the airport, Mom. I didn't even know. Sorry, and you were mean to us when we got here. <laughs> we all lied. Every single one of your family members that loves you, we all lied by a mission. Don't worry about the food, Mom. <laughs> You got oh, you've had it. <laughs> you know, why have you been in such a good mood? <laughs> well, you wondered what I did with my uh, yeah. money for Mother's Day. I didn't buy any flowers or anything. <laughs> <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Are you happy, Mom? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? We love you. I had no idea, Ryan. We love you, Mom. None. We love you.
from the war surprises his little girl at school and only we were there to capture the moment that she set uh, that she, the moment she uh, set her eyes on her father new so stephanie stone is live with the story for us tonight staff there was not a dry eye in the fifth grade classroom here at cheviot elementary and let me tell you guys this was a pretty special event it took a lot of top secret kind of planning <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. I'm home now. For 11-year-old Kayla Proctor, it was class as usual until her dad walked in the room in uniform. Yes. It's been 18 months since he left for Afghanistan. I wanted to do something special for her, you know, uh, and actually let her see me here in my uniform and stuff. And I think it's a big morale booster for her and also her classmates, too. They've kept up on Facebook, but this past year hasn't been easy for Kayla. I feel um, really happy because me and my other sister in Bowling Green have been missing him, and I'm kind of a shock now. Before she got the surprise of her life, any other? The Cheviot Elementary fifth graders were learning citizenship. Little did Kayla know her principal, teachers, and support staff were planning down to every last detail, like bringing dad around the back of the school and up a back stairway. Yeah, that's really special. And it's special for dad, too. This surprise kicked off his retirement after 19 years in the Army. It's all worth it, you know, once you get here. And here's the best part about Kayla's dad. Since he's retiring, that means he's not going back. So he plans to spend the next year of his life transitioning back into civilian and, well, his daughter's life. We're live in Cheviot, Stephanie Stone, News 5. Oh, well. Me too. Our uh, whole battalion came back with everybody that went that with us. Wonderful. Yes. Um, was, um, was um, Melody's daughter? They want us to come in? No. Come in. What's her name? Okay, no, they want us to come in. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Where is he? Where is he? There he is, right there, honey. Right there. Okay. 
What's your name and what grade are you in? Uh, Caitlin Schering and I'm a sophomore. I'm Emily Schering and I'm a freshman. And so what does your dad do? He's a flight surgeon and he works with the army and heals or takes care of the people who... He's a doctor yeah. for the veterans and he flies and stuff. Is he stationed somewhere or...? He got to Georgia. He got back in the United States on Friday, but he was um, in Taji, Iraq. How long was he there for? I think Four months. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your father? The best man in the world. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. fun, smart, funny, just like the best dad. He's ever. always there for you. He's always someone to talk to if you need someone to talk to. And he understands. Role model. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. What do you think their reaction will be? Like maybe uh, like who's that old guy? Welcome Home Blog, the number one site for videos of surprise military homecomings. Visit welcomehomeblog.com to see the newest video every day.